Hi guys and welcome back to another Premium Press video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you the language options within your Premium Press theme and help you set up translations for your Premium Press website. So let's get started. Okay, so in front of me we have the demo website. So this is the demo for all of our Premium Press themes. And you'll notice that on our demo website there are displays for different languages. Now it's worth noting that all language files are provided by the Premium Press community. So the quality of the files um, may differ depending on the language. So if you do um, use a specific file and there are edits needed, there are any issues on the actual language file, feel free to make some changes and then resubmit it to the community so that everybody can benefit. So here we go. So in front of me we have the, um, again, the demo website. And as you can see here, there are lots of different languages available. We have Chinese, German, English, Spanish, etc., etc. And if there are any language here that we, you'd like to use that we do not currently have, you can easily create your own and then, again, share that with the community. So let me show you where the language options are found in the admin area and how to set up your own. We select the premium press options. On the left-hand side, we have settings. And on the settings panel, we scroll down and we click on languages. Now this is the options that turn on and off the language switcher and the options to display them are the default languages displayed within that switcher. So let me show you what that is. The language switcher is the on and off button at the top of this website that displays all of the available languages. So as you can see here, this is the Chinese version. If I refresh to English, we can switch it over to English. You can see here the language um, options at the top display all of the languages we've set in the admin. So if I go back to the admin, I, for example, just leave English and Spanish, click on Save Changes, Refresh, go back to the top. As you can see now, we have English and Spanish. So basically, the options here allow us to turn on and off the switcher. So I can turn it off completely, give it a refresh. As you can see, the language options have gone. Now, the point of this is if you're running a single language website, for example, only in English or only in Spanish, then you probably wouldn't need the option for users to switch between languages. And in fairness, if you are setting up a website with multiple languages, then you should also be accepting customers to provide um, support, etc. in multiple languages. So do be careful if you want to go ahead and create multiple language websites that you are able to support those languages. So if a user sends you an email in French, then you are able to reply correctly and efficiently in French. So let's assume that you've already decided that and you're going to go ahead and set up a multiple language website. Again, from the admin under language options, we would turn the switcher on and then we would select the languages that we want to use. Now, the default languages that the users uh, within the Premium Press community have provided can be found here. So these are the common languages, and we have English, Spanish, French, etc., etc. So for this demo, I'm just gonna select them all and click Save Settings. Again, I'm gonna go back to my admin, uh, the front end, refresh, and as you can see now on the drop-down list, we have all of these um, different languages available. Okay, so let's look at translating some of the existing text on my website and setting up a multi-language configuration. So the first thing we do is log into the admin area again of our WordPress website. And we're gonna go to the, the dashboard and on the left-hand side, we're gonna use the local translate plugin. Now this is a free WordPress plugin that's found in the WordPress repository. And if you haven't installed it already, we can click on premium press plugins. And it's the one we recommend here, local translate. Or if you can't find this page, simply click on plugins for WordPress, click on add new and then search for local translate. So once you've installed the plugin, you'll see new options on the left hand side. And here you can see um, all of the um, text domains that are available within a WordPress setup. So as you can see, the active theme is the car dealer theme. This is the one we've got installed. We will click on this and we can see all the current um, language files that we've um, uploaded to our premium press theme. So to edit any of these, we would simply click on edit and then to modify any of the text, for example, home, we could just search for the home, click on home and we would change the source text, the translation underneath to the, um, the direct text that we want to use. And all of the um, text you find in here is what we call system text. So basically this is used by the entire system. So the, the entire theme uses all of these, all these text options. So when I talk about entire system, I'm talking about all of the buttons and options on the website, anything that's displayed that's not editable by the admin area. So all of these options here, welcome back, etc. So you can find the majority of the text 
um, using the local translate. And again, just to change it, you would simply click on themes, find the active theme, which is always the premium press text domain, select the language file from the list, uh, and then click on edit and go ahead that way. If you haven't installed any language file yet, you will click on add new, and then you can go ahead and create a completely new language file. Or if you want to check what's available, try the premiumpress.com website for any of the language files that have been submitted by the premium press community. It's worth noting that when you create a new language file and click on add new, do not save the, um, the language file within the actual theme. So the first option here is author. And as you can see, it's trying to save the language file within the theme folder. And this is a bad idea because when you update the theme, um, all of the files are replaced with the new ones, which means anything you've customized and put in there will be deleted. Make sure you save the language file outside of the theme folder. So the other options at the bottom, which would add them to the local directory or your languages within the actual uh, WordPress setup. So again, just don't save it to the first one, which is author, simply because when you update your theme, you will lose your language file. Okay, so now let's look at changing actual content on your homepage. And I'll show you some of the great design options we've added that allow you to create custom homepages for different languages. So we go into the admin again, premium press theme, design. And now obviously on your homepage, we've got this button we can edit the homepage. Now, if you're not using Elementor, which many of you don't, then obviously you can use this option here. And when you use um, any of the box, so let me go ahead and install one of the designs so I can show you. Click on new design. Let's click on, let's create one that has text. So if I install uh, oh, this one, so I'll just install this design here. Okay, this is the pet classified design. I'll go back to the admin, I'll click premium press. Okay, design. When it comes to edit a home page, we can see that the blocks that have been installed um, as part of our home page. So as you can see, if we click on settings, this is the settings on the home page. The title, we have the title here, which is the pet classified. And obviously if I click on the home page to visit the home page, this is the text we're going to be changing here. Now, basically in the new versions of our theme, we've created the ability for you to set up um, unique home pages um, for different languages and also for yourself so that you can create different combinations of landing um, pages so you can see which one works for, um, for your user optimiz optimization and for any A-B testing you may be doing, so your conversions, etc. So again, from the admin, just to change it without using Elementor, so this is just the basic options, you would use the settings options, and then within the settings, you can change any of the text and any of the display options. Now, obviously, this is uh, the, one of the old style ways of changing it, and most people these days will use uh, a drag and drop page builder, and we've used that with Elementor. So to change any of the homepage content, you would simply click on load into Elementor. And what this will do, just before I do that, will take all of the content that we currently have for our homepage, so all of this content, and it'll load it into Elementor for me. Well, that's the plan anyway. Okay, so we can see that the um, template has been loaded in, and you can see all of the content is visible. And the great thing about any drag and drop builder is that obviously everything is easier to visually see and edit um, without having to go back and forth um, from viewing the website. So you can see we have pet content. Uh, on the right hand side is your main display. On the left are the block content options. So we would click title. We can change this to one, two, three, for example. And you can see it instantly updates the actual display of the page. So let's um, say, for example, I'll change another description underneath. So just do testing. One, two, three. So we now have pet classified testing one through three. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. So I'm gonna to go to the bottom and save. So click on save. I'll just drag this up so you can see. I'll click on update at the bottom. Now there are a couple of options here. There are settings and I recommend you use this as well to give the page something unique. So I can remember uh, what it's gonna be called. So I'm gonna call this Mark's new home page. Um, and I'm gonna click update to save that. And I'm gonna use the preview button here just to make sure it visually looks the way I want it to. Okay, so that's great. That's my changes. Pet classified one, two, three, and testing one, two, three. Now, before we simply click on home page and expect the page to load, so if I click on that, you can see it's going to load up the old page. We need to link our new design to the home page. And it's very easy. We go to the admin error. So we go on premium press. We click on design. We click on um, lit page linking. And here we can now set the new home page. So as you can see, the first one at the top is the uh, the default one so we're going to click on mark's new home page i scroll to the bottom click on save changes 
And now if I go to my home page of my website and give it a refresh, we can see now that the new um, elemental page we've created is now our new home page. Now this has um, some great um, benefits to it because what as you probably might have noticed a minute ago if I got to the admin is that we can now set a different home page for every language. So I can set, uh, I can customize a new home page for Spanish and set that as Spanish, French, German, Ger uh, Russian, etc., etc. So basically, using the Elementor um, option or creating my own home page, my own custom pages, I can now create multiple um, layouts for different um, different languages. So let me demonstrate that as well. Okay, so this is the demo website, and I want to show you here some of the options. Now we've created this so you can visually see how it works. We have multiple different languages obviously built into the theme and you can set up a custom home page for each language. So for example, if I click on the Chinese version, so we have a Chinese home page. If I click on the German version, we have a German home page, etc, etc. And basically by creating a unique home page for each language, the user would then be able to switch between them. So on the top, say this would be all in um, Chinese, I could then switch to a different language, say French. So now I have a completely new home page um, set up in French. And obviously all of the internet and content pages will be displayed in French as well. I can use the Russian one. Uh, again, we can just we can just switch to a different language. Whatever this one is. Oh, that's the French one. Uh, let's try the Korean one. Okay, so we have the Korean one. So basically we've created the ability to use, set up a unique home page for every language. So that way that when a user loads up to your, your website in that language, they will be displayed with the um, the specific content that you'd want them to be viewing in that specific language. Again, we would set the home page in the admin. So I'll show you this again. Dashboard. Let's reset this to English. Okay. Uh, test uh, design. Page linking. And this is where you set the different um, design you've created for each of the languages. So again, the default one I would have had for my home page would have been the one we just created. And then I would create a Spanish version, I would create a French version, Chinese version, etc. And that way when people load the home pages, they will be displayed um, the home page based on the language. And we have that ability for all of the content pages. So you can create your own about us page in different languages, about contact page in a different language, etc. So that's the basic concept of editing your home page and obviously changing the home page base, um, design based on the languages. Now let me show you how to change some of the content within the inner pages. So for example, if I go to my website, let's load it in English because my Korean is not so good at the moment. Let's click on search website. And let's change the design so it's easy to see. Let's say for example categories. So this is something that a lot of people have always struggled with. The ability to customize content such as categories and taxonomies into different languages. And we've done that, we've resolved this problem by using the um, options in WordPress. So we're going to go to design. Uh, I would click on ads in this case, but I'm basically just going to be showing the taxonomy options within WordPress. I will click on manage categories. So this is where I'd manage the categories in WordPress. And as you can see, obviously we have all of the categories we've got installed. I've got appliances. And when you scroll down, you'll again see that the translation options are available here. So as you can see now, I can set up a unique value for each of these. And so when the user displays uh, the website in that specific language, they can then uh, display the correct translation for each of my categories. And it's the same with any other taxonomy that you add. So in this card dealer thing, we have new, used and certified. And again, we can click on edit and change the translation to each of the language that we've selected to use. 